Welcome to our presentation on the neutral zone technique, a crucial method in denture fabrication that ensures comfort and functionality for patients. Adapting to complete dentures was less of a problem in the past, likely because new denture wearers were younger. Nowadays, people experience tooth loss later in life, making it essential to develop neuromuscular skills for successful denture wearing. After dental extraction, alveolar bone may resorb until only basal bone remains. This complicates treatment, leading to suggestions like vestibuloplasty or implant-supported dentures, though these are less common due to various constraints. The neutral zone technique offers a valuable alternative. Mandibular dentures often present the most difficulties, with pain and looseness being common complaints. This is due to the mandible atrophying more than the maxilla resulting in less residual ridge for retention and support. To manage difficult situations for the mandible, Fish in 1933 highlighted the importance of the neutral zone, constructed in the dead space of dentures. The term was coined by Barrison and Schieser in 1976. The neutral zone is the potential space between the lips and cheeks on one side and the tongue on the other, where forces between these structures are equal. Artificial teeth should be arranged in the neutral zone for denture stability. This ensures teeth do not interfere with normal muscle function and that forces from the musculature favor stability and retention. The neutral zone has been referred to by various names in literature. Techniques for recording it are well documented, including the anthropoidal pouch technique, denture form impression technique, and others. The neutral zone technique is most effective for patients with unstable, unretentive lower complete dentures. It is also used for patients with tongue or motor nerve damage affecting denture-bearing areas. Now, let's delve into the clinical steps involved in the neutral zone technique, ensuring a comprehensive understanding of the process. Primary impressions are taken in a stock tray with MUCA displacive material. The mandibular secondary impression uses a close-fitting special tray with zinc oxide eugenol. Accurate impression ensures maximum support from underlying structures. Wax record rims are constructed for increased stability and extension. After assessing and modifying the base plates, correct incisal level, occlusal planes, and palatal contour are established. The laboratory articulates the rims for accurate closure. The wax is removed from the base plate, and a superstructure is constructed. This provides even occlusal stops and support for the neutral zone impression material. Various designs are proposed based on clinical preference. Favored designs include self-cure pillars in premolar regions and a light vertical fin along the center. The design must not affect cheeks, lips, or tongue while maintaining desired OVD. Before taking the neutral zone impression, the maxillary wax try-in is inserted. This positions the teeth and allows the tongue to be placed correctly during function. The impression material is controlled by muscle activity. The mix is placed along the base plate and superstructure, with controlled volume to avoid distortion. The patient should be in a comfortable, upright position, performing actions to simulate physiological functioning. Patients perform actions like smiling, pronouncing vowels, sipping water, and licking lips for 10 minutes until the material sets. These actions help capture the neutral zone accurately. Lott and Levin suggest patients read aloud rapidly to strain muscles and increase saliva secretion, aiding in swallowing action. This focuses on occlusion rims and records natural muscle movements. Tench et al. proposed using plastic impression compound for recording the neutral zone. Other materials like tissue conditioner and wax are also preferred for their properties that capture tissue morphology in the functional state. Two key factors for recording the neutral zone are maintaining an established occlusal vertical dimension and using slow setting materials to shape oral musculature properly. The technician will replace the neutral zone impression on the master model, cut locating grooves and place plaster or a silicone putty index around the impression. The visco gel impression is then removed from the base plate and the index replaced. The index will have preserved the space of the neutral zone. Wax can then be poured into the space giving an exact representation of the index. Teeth can then be set up exactly following the index. Here we see examples of plaster and wax try-ins around the neutral zone impression. 
These images illustrate the process and the precision required to achieve accurate denture fitting. Once the wax try-ins are deemed satisfactory, the dentures may be processed and finished. Instructions must be given to the technician to polish the denture lightly so that the contours remain unaltered. On final insertion, the dentures are fully inspected, and a check record performed to eliminate any minor occlusal errors. Several studies have compared dentures fabricated by using neutral zone techniques and conventional techniques. It has been observed that neutral zone dentures are functionally more stable than conventional dentures, increase patient comfort and function, and experience minimum post-insertion problems. However, according to Fami and Karat, comfort and speech performance were better with the neutral zone dentures than with conventional dentures, which showed better mastication results. Raja et al. showed that in those with longer periods of edentilism, neutral zone dentures had better assessment results and success. These dentures have the advantages of improved stability and retention, sufficient tongue space, reduced food trapping adjacent to the molar teeth, and good aesthetics due to facial support. The neutral zone is an alternative technique for the construction of lower complete dentures on highly atrophic ridges. It is especially useful in cases where dental implants are not possible, and the copy technique would be inappropriate. The technique is relatively simple but there are increased chair time and laboratory costs. Thank you for your attention and time. We hope this presentation has provided valuable insights into the neutral zone technique for denture construction.